This is an art attack? This is an art attack. This is art attack. <laughs> Nice to see you again. I think we'll start with a little bit of magic. In the next couple of minutes, I'm going to turn this into this. Look at that. A fantasy castle. Come and have a look at this. Take a polystyrene cup and tape it upside down to an ordinary piece of A4 size drawing paper. And then, I love doing this, stick your finger into the top like that and rip the whole of the bottom off your cup. And you don't have to be neat at this stage. Art attack never is, is it? Then take the inside cardboard tube from a kitchen roll and stuff that into your paper cup. Now, you might have to press it in so it's a tight fit. And tape that into place. And then just scrunch up a paper ball, scrap paper, and put that into the top just to block it up. And again, just tape that into place like that. And then take the inside from um, <clears throat> three loo rolls, just the cardboard tubes, and place them into position so that they're roughly halfway above your kitchen roll tube. Look at that, just halfway above there, like that. Tape it into position, and then do another one on the other side again, so it's half of the tubes above your kitchen roll tube, and then put one on the back, like that, that's slightly higher than the other two. And now to make your pointy roofs. And the way to do that, watch this, good little tip this, just take an ordinary a4 size piece of drawing paper and start to roll it in one corner and as you're rolling just turn to the right like that and roll your paper over and it starts to roll itself into a paper cone and then when you've got it into position just tape it and again you don't have to be neat and then cut it so that it's roughly the same height as a loo roll tube and so it's wide enough at the bottom to fit over the loo roll tube and bring you castle back in like that and pop it on the top and then do another two for all three turrets and you have something that looks like this and tape them into position and then to add the detail onto your castle just take some strips of scrap paper and just twist them into shape and then bend them one for the door like that it can be a little bit fiddly so just tape it into position as you're going and do exactly the same for the windows. Now, I've got some tape on this one. I'll just show you one window up there, but you can do three. You can do as many windows as you like. And there it is, nicely taped into position. And now, the good fun bit. Turn the castle to stone. And the best way to do this is to take some PVA glue. It's the ordinary white school glue that you get in the squidgy bottles, and mix it with water. Two parts glue, one part water, and just paste it on to the front of your castle. And stick on some strips of either loo roll or ordinary tissue paper and just stick it on where you've pasted and then paste again on top and I love doing this it's a great technique this it just finishes your work off and just stuff it in to all those cracks and creases and you can even go down onto the base the paper base and that will later on strengthen up the base of your castle again just pasting it on to all those nooks and crannies and the idea is to cover the whole of your castle all the windows, all the detail, in two or three layers of tissue paper or loo roll and PVA glue. And if you leave it to dry overnight, when it's dry, you'll have something that looks like that. Look at that. There's your castle. It's gone rock hard, and you've got this fantastic sort of stone effect. And then if you cut the base out, just cut around the outside of the base, you have a nice firm base like that, and then you can paint it. Now, you can paint it any colour you like, because it is, after all, a fantasy castle. But use poster paint or acrylic paint and I'm just going to slosh on some grey poster paint there onto the front just to give it that lovely stone effect and the best thing to do is to cover it in one coat a base coat and then go in with your detail maybe with a black permanent marker or some other colours a little later on when it's dry and when your whole thing's done again if you leave that to dry overnight when it's finished you should have something that looks like that look at that there it is 
a fantasy castle. And look what I've done down here. If you just look at this detail, you've got all these bricks that I've picked out in black permanent marker. And look at that. I've even done gold pen on the knocker and the hinges. I've done the door. I've put in little bricks like that coming up. The turrets and towers here. You've got more gold pen. And I've actually painted these pointed roofs blue. And as I say, you can paint them any colour you like because it is a fantasy castle. What about this? Terror Towers. <laughs> and look at that. I've done it in spooky purple with fluorescent green windows and a door. And it even looks like a face. And you know, you don't have to stop there. If you go on collecting cardboard tubes and making more towers and turrets, you can keep adding them to your castle and eventually you'll end up with something this size. Look at that. That really is a fantasy castle, complete with little sprinkles of glitter on the roof. Try it yourself. A fantasy castle. Hello, it's me, the head. Those look great. And it all starts with a polystyrene cup, a kitchen roll tube, and three toilet roll tubes. Then make paper cones for the roof and cover the whole lot with two or three layers of toilet roll and PVA glue. When it's dry, paint it. Then keep adding to it to make your dream castle. And here's mine. Well, I don't have very interesting dreams.